Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers as well. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Um, so today's reading is <clears throat> what, um, not what, bleh, <laughs> who, is, who is your energy vampire? Um, but what threw me off, okay, because these are a deck of cards and when I was shuffling for each pile and asking obviously spirit who is group one's energy vampire group two's blah 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 i don't know if you've noticed the pattern here guys so this may either be a crossover or whatever but i'm gonna hold all three cards up can you see the theme here we've got magical tools we've got candle magic and we've got spell casting so these energy vampires that that is around you i feel it very strongly that they're into the occult some may be candle magic, some may be magical tools, meaning like, you know, um, essential oils and rituals and things like that. And then this one with the spell casting. Some of you may not know, be aware of it, but some of you may be. But it's just very odd how all three piles got um, magic. Hmm. Maybe you guys are into magic, who knows. But anyway, so group one, we've got number 42 and we've got magical tools. Number uh, number two, group two, we've got number 13, uh, candle magic. <clears throat> as soon as I start this reading, <clears throat> wow. So, number seven, which is spell casting. Okay, so anyway, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything, and um, don't forget their energies as well. I'll see you at your piles. Hey group one, so the energy of your energy vampire, but like I said to you guys in the intro, if you stayed and listened, um, is it could be you're into um, the occult yourself, okay, maybe you do some like candle magic, oil magic, you know, that kind of thing, but what I'm seeing here with, with this card, this is exactly like the magician card. The magician in, in the tarot deck has all these tools, you know, you have the cups, you have the pentacle, that kind of thing, and this is the same thing. So this is somebody here that likes to um, likes to maybe manipulate a situation or wears a mask or they're very clever. Because all of a sudden now that I'm trying to tap into this energy, it's like they have like a shield up. Yeah, this this energy. Um, I feel like they use whatever they're doing. It they use it for manipulation. So it could be maybe to manipulate the way somebody thinks, which is really bad karma because you're taking away someone's re free will, that kind of thing. And when people are, are are of dark, they tend to attract light. Hence the energy vampire. It's like they need to suck your energy, uh, group one. They need to feed. They need feeding, basically. Sounds kind of gross. I've got bloody flying here. I think so. It's freaking annoying. Right, anyway, let me, if I start with the tarot, I want to start with who they are okay it's a wasp oh my god this fucking awesome right so <laughs> um just ignore me okay um right so anyway tap me into group one tell me more about this energy vampire for group one So we have devouring mother, gaslighting, hateful, incompetent, dependency, homicidal, codependent, selfishly, loving, cruel, emotional manipulation, guilt tripping. So this could even be your own mother, um, group one. Um, but like the card says, this energy's um, personality type is someone who likes to gaslight, someone who's very hateful. Um, may depend on you for a lot of things as well, may use um, unaliving themselves as a weapon, you know, it doesn't have to be a mother, but yeah, 
Mm. And then we've got Midas, and it says, Greedy hoarder, fears losing money or status, very demanding and drains others. There you go, thank you, spirit. Very controlling, pessimistic and inflexible. And there we, when I said thank you, spirit, it's the drains others. That is the energy vampire. So hopefully you're getting us a little bit of an idea of who this person is. Um, but anyway, let's, let's have a look more. Tell me more about Group 1's Energy Vampire, please, Spirit. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Tell me a little bit more. You could work with this person. Eight of Swords. Oof. and the page of cups Knight of swords so you could work with this person so, you know, there's no getting away from them if you do work with them. Whoever this is to you, group one, they have hurt you, I feel like, many, many times. Not just once, many, many times. And this energy as well with you, Group 1, they test your patience as well. It's like, I, I, I feel like this very strongly, this is someone at work for you guys. If it's not, if it is your mother, then, you know, you take what resonates. But I feel like this energy literally crosses so many boundaries with you. Um, and, I, and this sounds awful. But if going from those cards there and then going with this card here, okay, which is the Eight of Swords, I'm seeing it that this energy here plays on your emotions. So they're looking for sympathy, okay? So it's like emotional blackmail. So, you know, we've got the card saying that they want to unalive themselves, things like that. So they, they end up making you feel really trapped that you, you can't walk away from this person because you're so fearful of what they're going to do. Or how they're going to react. I mean, look at the Three of Pentacles, right? Now, the Three of Pentacles, usually, okay, guys, is a group of people. You can see them, like, talking, or one standing there with the torch, and the other two are talking. So it's like a collaboration. It's talking together. It's working together. It's teamwork. Look at the state of this woman in this card. She's fallen asleep. It's like she looks drained. She looks tired. She looks fed up. It's like, I'm getting from this vibe here with you guys. It's like, oh, I can't do this today. So, yeah. So, this energy has you feeling trapped. Maybe you're trapped in a job. And it's like I'm getting as well here. It's like this car, uh, this card, this energy also. I feel like they are an attention seeker. This is somebody that needs to be a centre of attention, but also needs to feel like people need to save them. It sounds horrible, but there are people out there like that. So it's like any little thing to get that little bit of attention, they will, you know, they will do anything for it. And I, I call those kind of people um, attention hoes. <laughs> I shouldn't say, but this is what I'm picking up here, you know. This is someone very, very immature. It could be somebody that is younger than you. They've come out as the Page of Cups. Um, this is also someone that doesn't know how to handle their emotions. They may be a grown, grown-ass adult, you know, but they don't know how to handle it as an adult, how they're feeling, what they're thinking. But <clears throat> they're doing something here that they're not supposed to be doing here, and, and justice is seen as um could be spirit stepping in because like i said it's very weird how every pile got the magic cards in the this deck they're not they're not all like this
and I do want to clarify You know, we've got the Knight of Swords here on the back of the deck as well, you know. So this is somebody that literally will force their opinions on you, will just force themselves on you in general. And with the Three of Pentacles, with the lady in the card there, and she's asleep, okay? I've never seen the Three of Pentacles where somebody's actually asleep in the card. It's like, I've had energy vampires. I knew who my energy vampires were. And it's like literally when they would leave, and if you feel like this is where your whole body just goes, oh, you know, like that you literally can breathe, you can relax, but then you feel so tired. That's, that's the energy that you're dealing with here. I do, tell me more about the Three of Pentacles first before I clarify justice, because I wanna know more. Three of Wands. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. You could work in law together. Page of Wands in reverse. That was coming out upright, but then it slipped over into reverse. Yeah, some of you group um, one, okay, it could be that you actually want to get away from this person, you may actually want to leave this job, but it's been delayed here, it's like things are not moving for you at the moment, or it could be that you're waiting to hear about a new job, but that's not happened yet, so you're patiently waiting here, because with the three of ones, it's looking to the horizon, you know, looking at over the sea, obviously in the normal tarot deck, and it's waiting for something better to come along or wanting something better to come along it could also be that you would you know because these are two teamwork cards here it could be that you hope you may want to move departments to get away from this energy i feel like literally you've already got your bag packed i see you guys running out the door <laughs> not walking running because it's like freedom right tell me about justice please spirit. <clears throat> oh we do have libra we do have cancer scorpio pisces we do have leo aries sagittarius yeah that's about it so tell me about justice here Knight of Swords again. This is somebody who who is very um you know like a ball in a china shop. Ball in a china shop, this person is. It's like they're very reckless. Um they act without thinking, they speak without thinking. Okay, well this this is good news. Clarifying justice. This is usually when spirit steps in to make right what is being done wrong to someone. You know, it's all about fairness. It's all about forgiveness. And with the five of ones now, if that was upright, that would be continued conflict, continued jealousy, con continued envy, you know. But what's happening here is this is an ending. This is finally a resolution to the problem. So it could be that finally you will be able to take action. Maybe you've maybe you've actually reported this person to HR and this is what the delayed news is. Maybe, you know, they took it too far and you've had enough of it. You know, there's so many of you that watch this, so you've got to take what resonates for you. But I feel like spirit is putting a stop to this person's behavior here tell me about this magical tools what what is this magical tools spirit what are they doing oh they're messing with someone's free will there you go straight away wheel of fortune yeah i don't like this seven of swords oh goodness me 
I actually start to get a pressure headache right now as well in the top. You know, when someone's, it's like someone is squashing your brain. That's what I was saying at the beginning. This energy, I feel like they really are deep into their craft, that they're very good at what they do. I don't like to mess with. And there goes my throat. Hang on. <clears throat> I don't like to mess with the dark occult, okay? People do, that's that's their choice. But you're taking away people's free will. This is somebody that is trying to take away someone's free will here. They're being very sneaky about it with the Seven of Swords. This is, a, this is somebody who is lying, someone who's cheating, someone who's trying to get away with something. Very, very sneaky energy here. And if they're not careful, doing this <coughs> is going to cause really bad karma. Really, really bad karma. I mean, look at the way she's spinning on the uh, wheel here. I don't know if you can see because there is a glare from these cards. What's that fairy tale? Oh, was that Rapunzel? And she pricked her finger. Let me clarify these two. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and Seven of Swords. Why are they targeting you is really what I want to know. High Priestess, oh my God. Uh, do you know what? This is a very strong energy here. Uh, you can't, you really seriously cannot make this up. You've seen the cards fly out. You've got the High Priestess here. This is someone very powerful. Whoever this is to you, this energy vampire, they keep this side of themselves hidden. I mean, even the high priestess in this card as well is, is she's got a hood up, you know. She's only showing part of her face here. And she's got a dragon as well. You know, she doesn't look very friendly neither in this card, but... Tell me more about this High Priestess. What, what magic is the High Priestess doing, Spirit? What magic do they mess with? Maybe it is people's energies. They need that to feed whatever magic they're into, you know? Two of Wands. King of Swords. Five of Cups. This kind of magic that this energy is into, like I said, is taking away someone's free free will. So it is this, um, they cause confusion within people. It's like you don't know whether you're coming or going. Um, it, it's like, say, if you wanted to leave this job, but then a part of you would be, well, you know, I, I shouldn't. I don't, you know, but you don't know why it's, it's stopping you from moving ahead, from moving on. So this is, it's like... It's a manipulation kind of magic that, that this High Priestess does here. It's like, she, whoever this High, I keep saying she as well, so maybe it is a feminine energy. Um, they're so detached from what they're doing. It's like they have no emotion. They don't have no remorse. They don't really care what they're doing to other people. 
they feel powerful you know they feel like the almighty i mean even if you look at this card as well he's sitting he's standing there like i'm i'm almighty here what this energy is actually doing is causing the five of cups which is to cause grief pain heartache it could be maybe you've lost a few people along the way i mean this could have been a friend of yours maybe a lot of people have lost you've fallen out with people for no reason at all you know people may have left your life and you don't understand why they've left your life it's because it could be that this energy wants you all to themselves there's something about you group one that they don't want to want to let go of you what's so special about group one oh, jesus stop it oh my god I'm actually going to do that again. What is so special about group one? Wow. The eight of wands, the ace of wands, the six of pentacles. Wow. There you go. The ten of cups, the empress, that's why. Eight of cups. They don't want you walking away. They don't want you to, to leave leave their side, leave their vicinity. Oh, jeez. You are the Empress. You are the Divine Feminine, okay? You, you... This could be someone as well, Group 1, that you could have started a little small business with them, okay? You could have both come up with an idea and they need you for these ideas. So it could be, even be something like this. Maybe you are into the occult as well, but this energy may want to go dark and you're like, no, I'm of light because you are the empress here and I don't want to go dark. So behind your back that you're not aware of, and I'm not I'm not sure, group one, whether you're aware, aware that whether you get upper neck pain because when I do certain readings, if an energy doesn't want me to do a reading, I start getting an upper neck pain. And that's what's happening right now. So it could be that you want to apply for a new job or you are applying for a new job here. Or it could be that you are very creative and you, you want to start something new on your own here. They don't want you walking away from them because they love the fact that you, you feed this, this, you feed their energy basically. Yeah, I'm seeing it as that that you, this is like you're a feeder because you are of love and light. We've even got the ten of pen, uh, the ten of cups here. I mean, look at the beautiful cards that came out for you here. This is what they need. They need your energy. They need you around. You know, you're very caring. You're very understanding. Like I said at the beginning, you you feed even that side of their their ego. And the reason why they're doing this dark magic as well is to control you, to stop you from moving forward. So if you've been feeling tired lately, very drained, very confused, um, what else? Just, just overall feeling really low. This is because somebody is doing some kind of dark magic on you, group one, and you need to maybe look into um, protecting yourself as well. And there are many ways to protect yourself from this kind of thing, unless it's something really serious. Let me have a look at um, what can group one do to protect themselves, spirit? What can they do to protect themselves? Hangman. The tower, the star, Aquarius, the moon, the magician. Jeez, you've literally got, you've got a major choice to make, Spirit is saying here. You've got um, all in a row, one, two, three, four, five, major arcana. 
this is something that's ma that's happening that is very serious spirit is saying to you you're being manipulated you're being controlled here with the magician and i said at the beginning this literally is like the magician card in the tarot deck there is confusion happening here within you you know feeling confused having nightmares as well um there's things behind the scenes that you're not aware of this energy is making you feel stuck stuck here you know that's what they're doing that you can't move forward you can't move on And like I said, group one, you could be experiencing a lot of a lot of problems in your life, a lot of upheaval at the moment that you've not not understanding. Um, on my channel, I have quite a few people that are into the occult and they are in tune with their, you know, this side of things and they know how to protect themselves. But there are some of you that are not aware of it. So you're experiencing a lot of um, upheavals in your life and you're trying to heal this but you're very confused about what is going on here this is what's going on in the background I feel like how you can protect yourself here is um, you need to become as clever as they are. I don't know. I have a really bad headache. Tell me about the star. I hope it's not like this for the whole piles here. The page of swords. Okay, tell me more about the star, because I kept looking at the star here. We, we do have Aquarius, Pisces. <clears throat> about the star. So we have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. <coughs> Ace of Swords. This energy is really hard to, to tap into. I feel like the way you can protect yourself, okay, is by protection, um, maybe a protection spell on yourself that you can do yourself. You can even do candle magic. You can do cleansing. You can do meditation because... Um, you do have meditation cards here as well. It's something about protecting yourself here, but just bear with me, guys. This is just like. That's why I'm confused. Okay. Sorry, I didn't doze off. I am here. I can see what's happening. 
where this energy um, has been malicious when it comes to you because there's something about you like I keep saying group um, group one I don't, and I don't feel like you ever offended this person I don't think it's anything out of hate I do believe it's because you have that nurturing nature which is the um, the Empress here it's like they need you for your ideas they need you for your energy here and I keep looking at the star the star is all about healing and wishes coming true now I'm seeing it also as this is what goes around comes around we did have the wheel of fortune here so the reason I'm confused here because it's like I'm asking spirit what can you do to protect yourself but spirit is not really giving me the answer here what the spirit is actually telling me is there is nothing really to do you can do some protection spells or whatever but i feel like you're already protected by spirit because you are the divine feminine you can add you can make it stronger if that's what you want spirit also wants you to pay attention to this energy you know maybe watch what you're eating because you can actually put curses on people like spells on people by feeding them so like food and drinks and things like that as well i mean they do that in art my my culture as well um so yeah but what spirit has literally answered here is that they're not going to succeed in this this is going to backfire they you know dark magic only works for a certain amount of time but what's happening here with the ace of swords is you're finally seeing the truth you've you've woken up to the truth that this is what's going on here and now that you're aware of it they're failing so it's like <clears throat> they may no i'm seeing that they're going to end up giving up because it didn't work it worked for a little amount of time here they are going to experience a lot of setbacks in their life as well um It's like this, I feel like, oh, ugh, I hate people that do this because when you mess with somebody's mind and you take that away from them, what happens here is it will come back on you tenfold. So what I'm seeing here is spirit is literally saying that this person is going to feel so overwhelmed, um, so unbalanced within their mind because of the poor decisions that they made. And there is no second chance to do this again is what spirit is saying it's like they, they want to go back to the drawing board once they realize that it's um not working but what's going to happen is the spirit is going to be throwing it back at them and i feel like they are because if they are into their craft they're going to know how this works so yeah you you don't really have anything to worry about group um one but it's very weird how it's turned very um magic 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 -y? is that even a word <laughs> so anyway let's have a look more at this energy here as well god i feel so drained honestly I f yeah i wonder how you guys feel when you're around the person so clinging, clinging to something because it's familiar, let go to grow. This, So there you go, this energy is a cling on. I know it's saying let go to grow, but I'm seeing it as this, I'm using these cards for this energy, you know. Interview, talk, get on the same page, enlist help if needed. So, it, like I said, it could be that you are applying for another job and you are waiting for news on that. It could be, like I said, that you do work with this person. This could even be your boss who interviewed you, you know, that needs your ideas because we do have the Ace of Wands in the reading and the Empress, which is, you know, all about creativity. Avoiding something, someone is avoiding a situation so you could be avoiding this energy you try to avoid them um they could be avoiding not wanting to you know i said that this energy feels like they're really powerful you know that they're they're 
more powerful than everybody else because their spells are working. Um, I feel like this is what they're avoiding is the truth. Things are going to start falling apart for them. Scarcity. Not having enough need for mindset change. Yep. Yeah. And then we've got Divine Feminine. Um, so you are the Divine Feminine. Um, this is not the Divine Feminine. That first card there that came out is very familiar, similar to the Divine Feminine, but it's very negative. So this could be a, the fake Divine Feminine. Cricket, silence, no action being taken. And then we've got retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge. That's spirit speaking there. This is now spirit is retaliating. Don't mess with things you don't understand. or well, they do understand, but I feel like people do feel like they're invincible when they use things like this on other people. So let's get their physical features as well. So they could have like skin. I'm going to get quite a few because, you know, there's quite a few of uh, you here. They could have long hair, freckles. This could be a plus size, plain clothes, short. They could have a scar. Very classy and a younger woman. I did say, I did say very strong feminine energy this is because we do, I do in these cards, we do have masculine as well. So let's. Goodness me. Let's do that again, guys. Spirit's just chucking them out. All right, so part one, please, Spirit. Jeez, what's going on today? Fire within. Find a way to reignite that energy in your life right now and immerse yourself in what you truly love. Passion, action, driving force. So, you know, it could be, like I said, that the fire's gone out. You know, look at the way she's... I keep saying that when she's sleeping in this... Um, in that card. Oh, for goodness sake. Where is it? Sorry guys, wasps were buggers, they're not very nice. I've been stung by a wasp, it bloody hurts. Good choices, expect positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past. In alignment, fourfold. So Spirit's saying you are in alignment, you've made some good choices, you're a good person. Right. <clears throat> so let's do our question, group one. Um, so it could be about this, it could be about anything, okay? So ask your question. So for group one, please, Spirit. Perfect timing. New doors are opening now and new opportunities are coming your way. Perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect timing. Anyway, great one. I'm going to leave it there. Sorry it was so long, but it just, um, I feel like it needed to be said, really. So, yeah, um, if you like this reading, please hit like. It helps the channel. Um, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day, guys. Much love. Hey, group two. So, if you chose candle magic um, intention... <coughs> Sorry, it's been happening through both poles now. Um, this energy could be involved with candle magic, but I'm also picking up with this card here as well, guys, that it could be that maybe you need to, to protect your energy from this energy vampire, is to maybe do some candle magic yourself. Maybe you've never done it, maybe you have done it. You know, like a little protection 
spell you set the intention and um, you know protect yourself i am seeing this more for protecting your you than them doing it to you if you know what i mean maybe you have been doing some kind of candle magic because this person's energy is just like ugh. so let's see actually we'll start with their personality traits um, so for group two, please, spirit, tell me about this energy vampire. So we have a prophet. Oh, God. Thinks they are God. Okay, I'll take it back. Maybe they are into candle magic. <laughs> Thinks they are God, so they could have a God com complex. Deluded sense of power, abusive and cult-like. Okay, this is literally following the same theme as group one. And like I said at the beginning with the cards, um... Okay. Manipulative takes advantage of their position in society. So they abuse the cult. They don't use it for good. They use it for bad. So this energy could be the ones that use the candle magic. Like the group one, it was um, some other kind of magic. But with this energy here... Um, I don't know, I feel like they feel so powerful because how they've managed to, you know, you know when cat when you do a bit of magic and what have you and it actually works, you're like, oh my god, it worked, you know. I'm getting what I want, or that person's acting the way I want them to act. But this energy needs to be careful because that's usually where, you know, things fall apart. It could be that they're trying to get you into the dark side of the occult and you're not interested. Maybe they give you the creeps as well. I don't know why that coming to my head. Tell me a bit more about this energy, vampire. Oh, God. We've got Black Widow. Deceptive, dependent, material and status through lies, enjoys pleasure without effort, unreliable, untrustworthy, draining. Um, the Black Widow is usually, you know, someone that, that kill um, unalives their, their partner. I don't know what kind of energies that you guys have got around you, but geez. <laughs> Um, so tell me more about this energy vampire here, please, spirit. Group two. High priestess. Oh, wow. This came out in group one as well. This is somebody that messes with the dark arts, messes with um, the occult. Tell me about the high priestess. The magician. Oh, bloody hell. They're there to cause pain and suffering. Grief and sorrow. This this is a very powerful witch. Or, what is the male? Um, what do they call the male witches? Are they witches as well? No, they're not. They're called something else. Oh, for God's sake. If you know it, you can say it down in the comments down below. I'm sure you will. <laughs> um, this is not a good energy that you've got around you, group two, neither. This is somebody that brings misery into people's lives by using control, by using manipulation, by using the occult who is this energy to group two who is this person you may not even know who this person is okay we've got two queens here we've got the queen of pentacles the king oh no we've even got a king of swords and we've got the queen of wands okay they have like a multiple personality they've got different energies in them <clears throat> This energy is literally in one with, with the two queens and the king here.
So do you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Would you have Cancer, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sorry, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius? So we are looking some at somebody here that um, this is somebody who is power hungry, power crazy, a dictator, you know. So this could be someone that works in a in a high position, okay? You know, like they're they're like the boss. Because I am seeing three boss cards here, you know, like somebody that is quite respected, high up in a position. Someone who's very ungrounded, very shallow, very... Um, Okay, this energy uses their magic to get ahead in life, you know, to, to move up in life. Do you get what I mean? I hope you do. They also use their sex appeal, their looks. group to know this person spirit I know this person hmm. I'm doing that again that's too many oh soja so we've got the ace of <clears throat> for God's sake. So we've got the ace of swords in reverse. We've got the nine of swords in reverse. We've got the four of swords in reverse. And we've got the king of pentacles in reverse. Just bear with me, guys. This is somebody that um, I feel like whoever this is to you, group two, they cause a lot of confusion in your life. It's like you question yourself, and and I don't feel like this person is actually close to you. You may work with this person. You just I don't see a bond here. I don't see anything here. It's like I feel like this person just targeted you, group two, for no apparent reason at all. You know, it's just like they may have taken a dislike into you. They may have been jealous of you. It's just like... I don't know. It's just very weird. This is this can be an ungrounded masculine. So this could be a masculine to you. And I'm finding it very hard to tap into these energies because of what they do. You know, they are protecting themselves from people like us that go to look at look at their energy. You know, they're gonna have their 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 protection spells and things like that. So it does become really difficult because <clears throat> I'm not saying who it was. I did a personal reading for this person, and they're gonna know if they're watching this pile who I'm on about. Um, and in the middle of the reading, it hit me that they were aware of me looking into them. So you know, these people are not stupid. So it's like this energy doesn't really want me to know who they are, even though I can sort of see who they are to you. You should hopefully know who this person is. This it literally could be your boss. 
we do have two boss cards here. But it's like this energy likes to gamble with people's emotions and their feelings and the way they think and the way they act. It's like a game. So why are they doing this to group two? You know, energy vampires can be people that are around us that suck the energy, but you can also have an energy vampire that does this sort of thing to drain your energy, you know? Why are they doing this to group two? Oh, Jesus, Spirit, you, you're honestly... Stop it now. Just a few. Why are they doing this to group two? Right, thank you. Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands on the back of the deck. This energy is doing this to you, okay? This could this could be a work colleague, someone who you work closely with, but don't really know them in that sense, but you work with them. Yeah, look, Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody you work with. I'm finally getting somewhere. Freaking heck. Um, so group one was even work as well. This energy is preventing you from moving forward in life, you know, maybe advancing in your career or having the wishes that, that you know, that you, you, you know, we all wish for things, don't we? We wish for success. We wish for happiness. This is what they're trying to prevent you from have, having. It's like they want you to struggle. They want you to have to work hard for it. It's like they feel like you don't deserve to be given any opportunities here. So yeah, they're causing a state of confusion in your life because they want you to struggle. They want you to suffer. We have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is burdens and suffering and pain and just... And then the Eight of Pentacles, which is work as well. So tell me, Spirit, why do they want Group 2 to suffer? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. I just feel like this energy just gets a thrill out of doing this. You know, we do have here, thinks they are God, deluded sense of power. It is a power hungry thing. We do have the King of Swords, abusive and cult like, takes advantage of their position. And the King of Swords and the King, you know, these, especially the King of Swords, that's somebody that's high up in a company. Ooh, excuse me, a company. And. I feel like they just this is just for fun. I don't feel like you offended this person at all, group two. I just feel like it is literally for fun. Tell me about the ten of wands. It, it, it is a very sick um individual. Tell me about the ten of wands. Knight of Swords. The world. Okay, so with the Knight of Swords, the world, judgment, the sun, and the uh, Page of Swords. So they want to teach you a lesson. This is what this is. They want to teach you a lesson. Why? Yeah, this is somebody that is in charge of a company or something here. I 
This is, is exactly what I said, group two. You did nothing. It's just that I feel like they took one look at you and they judged you here with judgment. And it's like, that. you know, that's it. That's my next target. I'm going to mess around with this and let's see what happens. I'm going to have fun with this. So it's like they're trying to cause endings in your life here. You may, may have actually started to experience endings in your life because of what they're doing. You know, the, the, the sick and twisted thing about this energy here, because if you look at the Page of Swords here, like this is somebody that, you know, is crying from one eye. They're blindfolded as well. And this, this is actually the Queen of Swords. I feel like this is the Queen of Swords. Sorry, guys. Um, he's causing unnecessary pain towards, and I said he, that's like weird, I just said he. So it could be a masculine that just slipped out. They're causing unnecessary pain for just just the sake of it. But it could be here that you're hopefully going to heal from this. Or it could be that you may be enlightened to what is going on as well. But I feel like with this hand in this sun here, it's like spirit is protecting you from the worst. And what this energy doesn't realise is they're actually building up karma points here as well. They will be judged for this. Just what I'm not reading for you, group two. Really odd. I should have actually changed the bloody title to who's putting, uh, who's casting dark magic. <laughs> So, Spirit, tell me what can group two do to protect themselves from this energy? You're the Empress. You have your angels here. Look at this death as well. The High Priestess, the Magician, the Hierophant, you are really, really protected here, Group 2, so you've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, things may have started going wrong, um, but this energy here is not as powerful as they think they are. It's literally all in their head. It could just be even, you know, this energy likes to... I don't know, bully people, like, you know that kind of boss that you get that thinks they're right about everything and, you know, they, oh, I, I can't explain it, but you know what I mean. That's like an energy vampire as well because they see something in you that makes them feel insecure, you know. You may have said or done something that made them feel stupid and it's just like literally a target on your back here, but you are really protected from this energy here. You've got nothing to worry about. You are the Empress, the Divine Feminine. Your angels are there balancing out the scales, you know, balancing things out in your favour here. It's going to come to an end in here. There is a big change here for this energy. Spirit is putting an end to all this. You know... Listen to your intuition here with the High Priestess. There are things that you are not aware of that was is going on around you that you've not been aware of. Or that you may have had an inkling. You may have had a bit of an intuition telling you that something doesn't feel right with this energy here. They give me the creeps. They give me the, you know, the heebie-jeebies, whatever. Listen to that. It could be maybe you've been thinking about leaving as well. And Spirit is saying with the Magician here, you can turn your dreams into reality here if that is what you want. You don't have to stay. You can actually walk away from this situation if you really wanted to because nothing is actually holding you back here. Sometimes it's best to end something and move on. But we've got to have the courage to, to make that change in our lives. 
because I don't see this energy changing anytime soon. It's like they are literally I feel like they're, they're really miserable with themselves, but yeah, I don't like this energy at all, especially with that uh, Black Widow there. And I feel like this energy didn't, you know, they may have actually inherited the company, if it is a company that they own or the business that they, they own. I don't feel like they actually put any work into it. I feel like it just landed on their lap through marriage, you know, that kind of thing very shallow individual this is so it could be something that they saw in you they didn't like you know and took a dislike to you for it so tell me more please spirit for group two we've got soulmate best friends romantic partner lasting connection but ignore that bit there this can be a soulmate it could be a karmic soulmate as well we have many different soulmates in our lifetime here come together reconciliation soul contract spiritual union so there could be a soul contract here that from many lifetimes this energy could have followed you, you you know and they keep doing the same thing again so it could be that you need to take control of your life and get away from this person to maybe break that soul contract family blood ties in a circle so this could be a family member you could work for this family member it could be like a, com a family uh, run business For a reason so you've got pop-up unexpected surprises spontaneous visit visit so something or someone could pop up and then you've got trash sticky situation need to clean something up so it's like taking out the trash isn't it so you might have to clean something up with this person or you may need to clean up your I don't mean clean up your life in that sense meaning moving on and then you've got intervention, rescue others involved. So it could be a situation as well, group two, that you may end up being ganged up on. Like people may come together saying that they're worried about you, this, that, the other. This is like the kind of games, sit games, I, I feel that this energy plays. And then today, living in the moment so you know you could be just be living in the moment but you've got archangel and um, protected divine inter um intervention so it's like i said you are very protected we do have the hierophant here as well focus fascinated watching attention on only one thing and this might be what it is they're so focused on you they're so fascinated by you watching you it's like an obsession stalkerish vibes as well verge about to have a breakthrough truths being revealed so you're finally there is something on the verge of breaking through here that truths may come out about what what this energy has been doing to you there could be an intervention here to do with this person maybe a group of you guys will get together and say look you've got to stop this behavior it's not healthy so for group two please spirit Communication, be open to receiving messages. Right now is important to communicate clearly and honestly. Calls, texts, expressions and answers. So you could be receiving some kind of communication here. Um, and it's really important, Spirit saying, to communicate very clearly. Because I feel like this energy could be someone that's very clever in the way they use their words, you know. Very convincing. 
momentum keep the momentum going whether big or small steps keep pushing for what you want fast haste charge ahead and then you've got your time is now you're at the right place at the right time you'll have to do what you you are meant to do ready time sensitive act now so let's get you a question card as well group two so it can be about this it can be about anything you want so for group two please spirit Hours, days, the time is now. There is nothing more to do. You are re you are ready to move forward. So you could be thinking about already, group two, to, to move away from this situation because you're so sick to death of, of what is going on in this environment. So Spirit is actually saying the time is now. You've even got your time is now. I mean, you cannot make these two cards up. So, I mean, if that's not a powerful message, what is? So there you go. Anyway, um, group two. So if you like this reading, please hit like. I appreciate you guys. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Um, I would love to have you. Thank you for staying and watching, guys. Much love. Hey, group three. So if you chose um, this number seven card, spell cast in manifestation. With this energy, okay, which seems to be the theme. Um, this could be somebody somebody who does cast spells, but it also could be somebody that when they manifest, they get it straight away. You know, very strong pers person that can manifest anything. So let's have a look at your energy vampires. Tell me about group three's energy vampire, please, spirit. The Hierophant. Two of Cups, the Lovers, this, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> um, I know that I'm saying thank goodness. This could be your, your four ones on the back of the deck. Uh, the reason I said thank goodness because the other two piles were literally people that are into the dark cults, you know. Um, I'm not saying this is a good thing anyway, but it's just the theme is different. So I'm like, oh, because it was a bit draining. But this is somebody that I feel like you are married to or in a very serious, committed relationship with. And this per partner of yours, group three. Oh, excuse me. Um, is your energy vampire. This is your soulmate as well. But there's love between you two. But I feel sometimes that this person just... sucks your energy why do they suck your energy you could have a family with this person as well so we do have Taurus we do have Gemini as well I mean these are beautiful cards it could be here as well group um, free you may be the powerful manifester but sometimes we need to watch what we manifest because we, we we may have asked for our soulmate, but the way we put it out into the universe, sometimes we don't get exactly what we ask for. We get something that's the total opposite of what we ask for. So yeah, you've got your soulmate. Yes, you have your marriage. Yes, you're in a committed relationship. Tell me about this lover's... Why is this energy an energy vampire? Tell me about the lovers. Page of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. The Empress. The Five of Cups. So you, you could be a parent okay the empress is here you know what i'm picking up from this guys i feel like there's so many responsibilities put on your shoulders here you invest all your time and your energy you know your your love your your nurturing 
um, side of yourself you give to everybody else but it just see it doesn't seem to be returned it's like you are being neglected here It's like a part of you um, wants to give up. I do see you wanting to give up here with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups. It's like, what, why am I holding on? It could even be that this energy may have walked away from you or talk about this eight of cups this five of cups and this eight of cups. Who is your energy vampire? This is your partner. So about the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups. The Ace of Wands. Tell me a bit more. Carrier, the King of Knight of Wands, and the Queen of uh, Pentacles. I feel like group three, you may be considering walking away. You may have already walked away. This energy could be somebody that's, you know, you, you're coming out as an empress. This person's coming out as a knight of wands. The knight of wands is somebody that is very ungrounded, doesn't have any staying powers in power, in and out, um, can be very promiscuous, likes to use their wands, putting it about. This can be a cheater, somebody that... Um, is not fateful where there's you as the empress as well as the queen of pentacles who is the home body who is providing for the the home you know looking after the the home and the family and you know you're you're very grounded here but in the process you're feeling neglected you're feeling unwanted you're feeling unloved there's no love and appreciation in this connection here and this is why and i feel like what what might be happening is you may have forgiven this person for what they've done to you um, because you love them and the Empress is very forgiving. But it's draining your energy here. It's, it, this is an energy vampire that keeps sucking the life out of you here. And it's like you are considering about a new beginning here. Maybe I should move on, you know, take my chance and move forward. Now, I am going to clarify the soulmate because I'm wondering whether this is actually a karmic soulmate. Tell me about the Two of Cups, please, Spirit. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we do have Cancer. Tell me about um, the Two of Cups. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more. The Knight of Swords in reverse. The Empress has come out again. The Wheel of Fortune. This is a karmic soulmate, guys. Strength. And the Seven of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. This is a karmic soulmate that, you know, the cards were so beautiful as you saw them as you as you see them coming out now i'm understanding the spell casting there could be a curse upon your ancestral line now i've been meaning to do an ancestral karma reading 
you know to see what it is and how to break it and I will be doing that um, soon so what I'm seeing here is with your soulmate this is somebody that you've had many lifetimes with um, lessons have not been learned yet from this energy here I feel like some of you are still with this energy and it's like you're thinking about whether you should move on some of you may already have maybe you've broke that karma but this is an energy that's supposed to bring misfortune into your life. They're not that they're, it's not they're not meant for you. They bring about nothing but destruction, devastation, ruin. I mean in the Knight of Swords in reverse there's a lot as well. This is um This is somebody that's not worthy of you. This is somebody that could be just very bully, but you know, a, a big bully. And it's like fate keeps bringing you back together because something has not been learned here through your lifetimes together. This energy is here to make you suffer. That's that's I know that sounds really awful, but this is what they're there for. You know, and, and strength is finding that courage to um, leave this person behind and decide that, you know, you want a fresh start with somebody else here. They keep crossing boundaries here. They keep disrespecting your boundaries as well. There's no respect here whatsoever from this person's part. But because you are the Empress, you've literally come out as the Empress twice. You, they're going to want that energy. They're going to want to be around you because you feed you feed their energy but I feel like you've just become so drained so fed up of the whole situation now yeah it's like a lot of hard work for little reward you're not getting nothing back you're not getting the respect you know you're wanting something equal you want the respect you want to heal from this So let's get some oracle cards. Okay, I am going to use these. Actually, do you know what I missed at the beginning? <laughs> That's very weird. I went straight into tarot. So tell me more about this person's personality. So we've got impulsive, disruptive, inappropriate, self-depreciating, uh, distraction, um unfiltered fear of boredom off task fearless shallow plays victim so they could do a lot of gaslighting a lot of projection this is somebody that could be very inappropriate at times you know in situations where they open their mouth and it's like did you just really say that you know that kind of cringe worthy uh you know cringe worthy side eye <laughs> and we've got trickster as well Uppity prudent promotes chaos and unrest, impulsive and mischievous, openly hostile, uses cruel ploys and sadistic choices to persuade, hence the bullying card that came out there. Um, tell me a bit more, this energy vampire, um, yeah, energy vampire for group three. Wow. You know what? Let's just take them, sod it. Mental abuse. They gaslight you or send you mixed signals. I just literally said that. Bad traits. Superficial. They're all about the surface or appearance, not having much underneath. Manipulation. They will make you feel guilty when you don't give in to their desires. Hence the energy vampire, literally. Spying, they're snooping, hoping to get more information on you. So they could be, um, could have hacked your phone. You never know. Your your laptop, your whatever you use. Oh, freaking heck. Wow. Look at this. Energy vampire, they will suck the life out of you when, they, then when they're around. Bad traits, literally. Look at that. No wonder all these cards came out. 
unavailable in another relationship or emotionally unavailable so we've got lies there but like i said i feel like this person's not very faithful to you i feel like they they are ungrounded we've got a lot of bad traits jealousy their jealousy has become toxic careful and don't be too trusting and there's another thing here as well is when somebody is being unfaithful they tend to project as well so they'll start acting all jealous and possessive and they accuse you of things and it's like where is this coming from that's usually a classic example of somebody that's not faithful i'm gonna get their physical features so they've got a long nose high bun physical features of this energy vampire and um, they wear glasses so it could be sunglasses that they're into. They're very attractive. You know, the Knight of Wands is very attra attractive. Um, and they use that to their advantage. Deep set eyes. They could have dark skin. Let's get a couple more. They could have a scar. Look at this. Because they, they, there's two cards of, that of the same in this deck. It was obviously a mistake. But that's quite a powerful um, message right there. It could be covered in freckles. So tell me more about this energy vampire or a message for group three. Oh, there's so many cards that are literally crying out for you guys. So you've got racing, running away, avoiding situations. That is the energy of the Knight of Wands. They constantly don't want to face things. Um, they're in and out. It's just like very ungrounded. Locked, feeling closed in, trapped and frustrated by your own actions. So I feel like that's actually for you, Group 3. I feel like you feel so frustrated with yourself because you've not taken any action. You you or you've not put the boundaries in place with this person or they keep overstepping it anyway and it's just you're just frustrated with yourself but don't don't do that okay you know there's no point punishing yourself over something that over someone else's behavior basically legal courtship con or contracts involved so it could end up you could end up getting divorced if you're going for a separation you know obviously legal's got to get involved uh, drifting naturally drifting apart no outside influences um but that's not their energy i feel like i feel like this is you you're just naturally just drifting away you know you're just doing your own thing now i feel like you spend a lot of time on your own group for a chemistry sexual attraction so you could have um great sexual chemistry with this person you know, Knight of Wands is very lustful energy. Um, alchemy, the path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transformation, transition, changing and shift. Okay, so you guys could start have already started taking action to leave, to walk away. Walking unscathed you are fortunate a trap was laid out for you but you were too smart to fall for it protected undamaged safe okay maybe this energy tried to trap you into something you know um maybe an unwanted pregnancy you never know because people do do that um it could be even something to do with legal but spirit saying you walked away with nothing touching you and then good choices Expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past in alignment for full. So let's get you a question. So it could be about this energy here, you know, this situation, or it can just be about anything you want to know. Okay, so for group three, please, spirit. All right, we're not doing that many. We want a couple. In July which literally just came out but with other cards so what you are asking about may require to take a leap of faith this is the time to trust so it's gonna happen in July a year from now Wow okay group three I'm gonna leave it there if you like this video please hit like and um, if you're new here please consider subscribing I'd love to have you thank you for watching guys and you have a beautiful day much love